I would like to welcome you guys back to another Rewind Wednesday. Here on Rewind Wednesday, we talk about cars from the past. Cars that we might not remember anymore. Last week, we took a look at the 2008 Chevrolet Trailblazer SS. And this week, I wanna talk a little bit about the six liter V8 motor that General Motors has put in their trucks for a really long time. This video is not sponsored, but if it was, it would probably be sponsored by, by, by the one and only GMC, GMC Socks, how about that? So, GMC, if you're watching this and you want me to, uh, to put some sponsored content in here, I'm for it, just saying, so hit me up down below, GMC. So I said that this motor was around for a really long time. The fact is, General Motors introduced this motor in 2001. By 2005, the year that I got in the car business, Everybody pretty much knew what this motor was because it was out four years before I got in. It was already hyped. It was a good supplement from the guys that wanted to save the money from the diesel motor to, to stepping down to a gas. And that's whenever I first got in, that was the most popular thing, guys stepping down from diesels to gas motors for the first time, really. I know what you're gonna say. Back in 2005, General Motors had another gas motor. That gas motor was an 8.1. That was the big dog. And maybe not necessarily just the diesel guys were transitioning to this motor. Um, probably some of the guys coming down from the 8.1 were just to try to save a little bit of gas mileage. While I'm sitting here at this stoplight, it's a good opportunity. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. My name's Cody Reed. I do a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You know, driving this truck, not only does it feel responsive, but it feels like if we hooked something up behind it, it'd be ready to rock and roll, it'd be ready to go, like no questions asked. You probably wouldn't even recognize a trailer behind it if there was a trailer. Um, yeah, just thought I'd throw that quick little note in there. I think one of the most fascinating things about this motor is not just about the longevity because, for instance, like the truck that I'm in today, the demo that I'm in today, it's got like 180,000 miles on it. It still runs like it's brand new. Past all of that, the most fascinating thing about this motor is that they put it in so many different vehicles, right? This motor was typically an HD motor. It was made for the heavy duty trucks. But not only that, GM put this motor in the Chevrolet Corvette. They put it in the SS Silverado. They put it in the SSR, I believe. So it, it's had its course. So when GM split and started putting this motor in the other vehicles, they kind of classified it under two different categories. The first category was the utility category the utility category would have been your three-quarter ton trucks 2500s and your one ton trucks 3500s and then at the time they brought out the new Corvette 2005 to 2007 this motor ran in that and then also in the Silverado SS like I said that was part of the performance group of the six liter so there's a little history for you on that motor I normally use Rewind Wednesday to try to bring back the past, right? Things that I used to like really, really enjoy talking about, things that I used to really, really enjoy selling, and, uh, and flip them back in the current day. And this truck right here, when I was driving it home the other night, it's just a wholesale truck. I mean, this truck's going straight to auction, but it, it had me thinking, like, it was like, man, it was like, man, that six liter motor, it's been around for a really, really, really long time. And I sold a lot of these trucks, so just a little Rewind Wednesday today on the six liter. I'm gonna take Rewind Wednesday and just make it short to the point. So that's what I'm doing today, you guys. Tell me out in the comments below, do you have a six liter? Have you had a six liter? Are you thinking about buying a six liter because they still make them, right? Tell me down below, tell me down in the comments all about your six liter experiences. I'd love to hear them. Did it last forever? Did it last as long as the one that I was driving outside, huh? Tell me down below, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will see you guys on Friday. See you later, bye.